Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel, so today, something a little bit different. We are playing a mobile game known as Best Fiends. And if you want to download this game yourselves, you can do. It's completely free to get. It's on the Apple Store and on the Google Play Store as well. Uh, there'll be a link down in the description, or you can go to download.bestfiends.com is the URL. So, we're going to jump straight into it. Oh, and before I do, I got some plushies. Like, this shows you how much of a fan I am of the franchise. So, I have got Gordon. I have got Quincy. He's a badass. I have got uh, the first character you get, which is called Ted. Temper, the beautiful Jojo, and then I also have, and I always forget your name, oh no, that wasn't Jojo, sorry, that was Jean, that was Jean, this was Jojo, they're kind of similar in looking, in like style and shape, oh, and I also have this thing, I have a, uh, a gigantic slug, because this entire game is based on the premise of slugs versus bugs, so of course we're playing as the bugs, I've got uh, five bugs that I can take into action right now, i got a purple one, who is called Brittle, I've got a red one, which is called Tantrum, I've got a green one, which is called Temper, I've got a blue one called Howie, and I've got a yellow one called Quincy. So I'm going to jump straight into the game and I'm going to show you the different types that I have and what exactly their abilities are. So I've got 26 moves to kill seven slugs, to break two boxes, and to get five diamonds. So I'll show you how each of those occurs as we go on. So I'm going to start with some red. And essentially, this game is just to connect three or more, obviously. Um, and when you do, you can get rid of things like snow walls, snow blocks, all those kinds of things. And also, as well, if you notice Temper in the middle there doing his little like, Oh yes, I'm the mayor pose. Um, but when I do a line of them, you'll notice that little gauge beneath him starts to fill up. And when that actually fills up, he will drop down a special, like a special block, which will have different things that it can do. So say I choose Brittle or Quincy, when you get the full circle and it drops one in, uh, that actually does a diamond shape and turns all blocks around it into the yellow or purple type. And then for Tantrum, Temper and Howie, it's either a vertical or a horizontal like explosion. So the one that it ends on and the two either side or the two above or below they blow up it's pretty cool so we're gonna carry on playing I'm gonna quickly do this uh, and also like you can just see there as long as I connect three or more next to a diamond so it's touching it I will collect the diamond and that I'm now go down to four which is pretty good and of course the longer the trail is the better the combo is and you tend to get multipliers on top of them now the obvious choice here would be to go for red but if you look at this is actually shielded. If you look at that slug at the top, he's not going to take any damage from them. So I've got to try and do another move for now. The only move I can really do, I guess, would be this one just here. But that's not really going to benefit me too much. I mean, I guess that would take me up to full. So I could then start getting my multiplier out there. And of course, as expected, it does that. So I am going to sacrifice these red ones purely because it's going to get rid of that snow block in the bottom right corner. And it's going to chip through that wall at the bottom as well. So sometimes you kind of negate damage for progression, like as in terms of getting rid of snow blocks in order to do more. Uh, so if I do this here, you'll notice that now I can go through all of these and it's turned the surrounding area into yellows, which is really, really handy. Uh, to break the crates, you either blow them up, or in the similar way to the diamonds, you do this kind of motion, and after a couple of hits on it, it actually breaks open, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go for a big old... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I didn't realise he was shielded on those ones. I'm going to do this instead, and that'll be fine. Uh, is there anything else I could do right now? Uh, I guess I can get rid of you three. There you go. And to actually activate the uh, the special one, so like that one at the top just here, um, I actually have to have it as part of three. You can't just press on it and it explodes. Um, it has to be part of a bigger sequence. Right, now that I've gotten rid of the shield of purple one, I can go for a big old purple strike. Yeah, boy! Okay, and then now what I want to do, I think, is I want to try and get all these red ones together so I can do a big strike. So what I might do is I might start with this. There you go. And then if I get rid of these just for now. Oh, actually, no, I can bring the green one down. I can only bring the green one right the way down to the center, which would be really, really good. So if I quickly do, I don't know, maybe like this attack just here. If I can bring that green one right the way down to the middle. Yes, if I get rid of that, this is my plan. Look, you ready? So now I can do a horizontal strike. Actually, let's make this way bigger. We're going to go around the loop all the way down to here and then right there. See what I've managed to do now? I'm actually now able to create uh, break two of the crates. And that is the middle challenge done. So now I've got ten turns to kill two slugs. That's all I've got left to do. So we can start off with a load more damage. Because these ones right here, they do additional damage, the special ones. So if I go for that one right there and break all those away. Look at that. That's nearly one shot, one kill, which is brilliant. Um, I'm going to go for this. No, maybe not because he's shielded by those. Uh, let's get this cleared out of the way. 
And we'll try and bring that red explosive down. There you go. Nice. Okay, let's go for this. There you go. And hopefully the yellow one might fall. No, it won't. Okay, never mind. So let's go for this one. Oh, where do I want to go? I guess if I do that, that'll be more damage. Go right the way around to there. We've got seven moves to do half his health. I reckon we can do this. This is pretty good. I did actually film uh, another episode to this where I lost the footage. And I actually failed this exact same mission. So I'm a little bit excited right now that I might actually complete this. There we go. Look at that. 4,800 damage because I got the times two combo. We've definitely got this. We've got to have had this. All right, there you go. Down to there. And that is, yeah, overkill by 60 points. Boom! There we go. And you might have noticed every so often that there have been these little yellow fuzzy things. And occasionally some blue ones as well that have been popping up. They're what are, what are used to uh, evolve your bugs into like better forms. So I think all of my bugs that I own right now, other than one, are all level 5. And 5 is where they visually change. So I'll show you that in just a second. So if I go for... Oh yeah, of course, you get keys. So uh, at the end of each course or each mission, you get three keys. And you can also pick them up randomly throughout the missions as well. And all you do is you just tap... Open it up. There's 120 yellow ones. Another bunch. Another 150. Give me something good. Ah, oh, just another 120. Uh, but you can actually find bugs inside of these, which is quite cool. So I'm now going to go and try and evolve my level 4 one. Who's level 4? Oh, it's Gene. Where's Gene? I have Gene right here. Here's Gene. All right, so I should have enough for this. But if not... Oh, no, look. I need 1,500 to do this. But do I have enough diamonds? Oh, no. So I could have used 955 yellows, 115 uh, blues, which I don't have either. Uh, or you can use diamonds. And basically with the diamonds, you can buy them. And they can basically bypass the evolution stuff. But if you notice Temper, look, he got to level 5. And he changed from being that little dude to a slightly bigger dude. So he kind of resembles my plushie a little bit more. So as soon as I can't evolve them for now, let's go for one more course. So this one, I've got to explode one bomb. I've got to kill eight slugs. And I've got 26 moves. Okay, fair play. Oh, I do remember this one. This one's actually really difficult. Um, because on my phone, I'm on mission something like 80 or 90. Maybe even touching 100. Because I think there are just under 400 courses so far. But I can't recall off my phone uh, into Elgato. I'm having to do this on an iPad. So I've had to start fresh with this account. But let's get rid of that one just there. Let's start getting rid of that green one just there. I kind of need to try and get rid of the higher up ones. Because then everything can start filtering down and into the center part like that there. So let's go for this. I'm going for that one again. We're just getting rid of more snow and more of the blocks. I'm going to go for a three. Yeah, boy. Uh, let's go for a little trio just there. There you go. The quicker I get to the bomb, the better. And to blow up the bomb, it's not a case like the diamonds and the snow where you have to do it next to it. I actually have to have one of my horizontal or vertical... Um, that was the wrong way around. One of my horizontal or vertical explosions actually land on the bomb. Um, and that basically blows up the entire field. I'm talking like this entire square gets rid of the lot. It's great. So I'm going to go for a loop-de-loop -loop around the side there. Uh, where to next? I'm going to get rid of that lower one again. And I should probably start by lowering down this side. Ah, oh, I was just about to go there. I was literally just about to combine those yellow ones in the bottom left corner. And then he went and spit a tooth on it. And basically that blocks you from being able to do anything. So you've obviously got a, much like the diamonds, you've got to connect something next to it to get rid of the tooth. That is genuinely very annoying. All right, let's get rid of these lot. Oh, there you go, those four. And then these green ones can start coming in. And I could probably get a pretty big combo here on the green ones. And that'll get the horizontal explosion almost at full. Nearly, nearly at full. I'm going to do a big yellow one just there. Right, that purple one should come down far enough. Yes. So I can do this. There you go. Nice big combo just there. Need to get a few more greens. That should be enough greens there, actually. Does that bump me to full? Yes, it does. All right, okay. Now I need to try and bring that to the bottom of the board. So if I do this, uh, what else can I do here? I'm going to go like that. There you go. Bring those right the way down. And now I kind of need a bridge across to the side there. This might actually be enough. If I get rid of those blue ones and then get rid of the... Oh, actually, is that going to be reach? Oh, it does reach. Okay, cool. Perfect. Boom. And that usually does a buttload of damage as well. That's instantly killed three slugs in like one go. This is great. So now I basically just got to do enough damage to kill him. He's got 8,700 health. So I've got to do that much damage in this little time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you down to here. Because I'd like to think, oh, I thought maybe I could get enough damage, uh, enough, another purple down there. Yes, now I can. 
All right, this might work. Oh, that thing just there, actually, that he just dropped is, um, it's just kind of like saliva. And basically, you have to break a block next to it in order to get rid of the saliva, and then you can carry on as normal. Basically, that's different to the tooth. The tooth will fall down with gravity, but that slimy saliva thing will actually hold it in place, like in physical space. So obviously, if I start clearing ones beneath it, nothing's going to drop down below it, so it can get pretty annoying. But if I do this right here, I'm going to go for as big a combo as I can muster up right now. Oh, that doesn't actually reach that far over in that direction. I thought it might have done. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Never mind. Uh, and something to bear in mind as well is that rather than choosing all of the purple ones to attack with, he only has 150 attack brittle. Whereas if I've got a big combo like this green one right now, that's got 250 attacks. So that's going to deal way more damage in this short window that we have. Because look at that, nearly 3,000 damage. I might just do this. If I get a big enough combo right now with this purple one, that might put me in a good position with the rest to deal some serious damage. That's about as good as that combo is going to get. And it's enough. 3,150. Oh, yeah. I love this game so much. It's amazing. Right, there you go. That one explodes. That one explodes. And so do the rest. So that's the thing to point out. If, you're, if you've got moves left over afterwards, what it would do is it, those remaining moves will drop down onto special uh, blocks first. And then it will go to regular ones after it. Right, so we've got three keys. Let's see if we find a bug. No, no bug there. No bug there. No bug there. But I did get some blue ones. The blue ones are pretty good. Sweet. There we go. All right, cool. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. In the comment section below, I want to know who is your favorite bug. If you play Best Fiends or if you want to go and download it, then please feel free to. My favorite one is definitely this one right here. Just because of her pretty fabulous lashes. Look at those eyelashes. <laughs> They're great. Yeah, JoJo is probably my favorite. So let me know it in the comment section below. Go and grab the game and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.